Uh, welcome back to the very soothing and calming Morocco. Ooh. So we've been kind of taking it easy for the last couple episodes with our leader. Who's our leader at this point right now? Oh, by the way, I'll, I guess I'll delete money. I, I guess that guy was a little bit too expensive. Oh, he's a three. Yeah, he's very expensive. But yeah, our leader right now, Monsieur, uh, Monsieur it's not Monsieur, I know that. Malazur uh, Martinid is basically just kind of chilling in life. I mean, he's in the later parts of his life, and he's just, you know, he's just kind of chilling. He doesn't, he knows he doesn't really need too much. Let's see. So, does this mean that I neglect for all my power in the world? Because that'd be actually, this would actually be more useful, and honestly. So, yeah. Anyways, let's see. Trade power, we actually don't gain that much from. <laughs> I would love to say that this is actually a very important part of my empire, but considering I make a lot more money, uh, trade is actually very little. I make most of my money from just production, so, yeah. Anyways, though, we do some inflation. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, we are just kind of taking it easy in this game right now. We're kind of gearing up for war, and, you know, we're just kind of calmly watching things happen in the world. I mean, we don't... There's some moments in EU4... Where there's the warring and there's the high action uh, stop and pause for every second. And then there's those, there's those points where you just kind of relax and see what happens. And, you know, okay. You know, you just kind of take it easy. I think this is one of those points. And apparently the new emperor is Brandenburg. Wow. That usually never happens. Good job, Brandenburg. Good job. Okay, so Brandenburg is the new Holy Roman Emperor. Hey, then let's see. Wow. I still can't believe Austria lost its power so much. And let's see, what reform are they on right now? Uh, by making the Emperor the final legal authority within the Empire. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think they're, at the, they're still not at the part where they still can't war against each other, so... Like, all these big gigantic vassals could become even bigger through time. Which is a scary thought to think about. You could even see an insanely even bigger bigger nation, and I apparently have some things I can do right now. Uh, production efficiency, technology, cost. No, I can't do that right now. Trade efficiency. Production efficiency, trade efficiency. You know, I could probably do the past mining act, because I don't really... Trading's... Let's see. We have 18.8. How much is that going to go down by? Uh, Not by very much. I think... I, ooh, yeah, let's gain it all back, by the way. <laughs> I think, in all honesty, it doesn't really affect too much of it, so... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be too burn, burdened by it. Holy shit, dude. Why? I did, that, that doesn't make any sense. You can't just lose like 14 men and just... <clears throat> like I said, this is the reason why I kind of wanted to get that 1.00 battlefield stuff because I already realized that this... This army, for some reason, is insanely bad. I don't quite know why, but it just is. Okay, so let's see. We have a couple soldiers that we're going to build. We're going to build a couple soldiers around here. Because that's pretty terrible right there. <sighs> yeah, stop hunting for a second. I'll have you hunt in a second. You guys, you guys are still converting this, right? Yes, you guys are. It's just insanely slow because we don't have much militaristic support. Well, not militaristic support. It's just these guys are enemies and they are insanely hard to convert. Oy. Okay, combine into one gigantic unit. Okay. And I think right about now we could actually have our own general. Because we only have about... Uh, yeah, there's our general. Alright. And then go travel all the way over here and go crush this army. Yeah. This is going to be like my international fleet. It travels between everywhere so that we can get what we want. But anyways. Um, right now our main goal, guys, is to actually... We're supposed to be declaring war on our sworn enemies, the... Uh, the uh, Mamelukes. Because we kind of want to eventually unite all of our land of Africa and maybe possibly unite all of the uh, Islamic faith. Although that takes precedent under a secondary goal. I'm not too worried about it. It's, it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going to focus in on it. 
Okay, let's just combine all these guys. That's actually a pretty good fleet. Oh my goodness, that... Why did we have ivory war problems? Who the heck had the idea of that? Ay, it makes me so mad. So yeah, we have an advancement of administrative ideas of like 12. So I think we could probably... I think with that, we could probably tech down a little bit of the administrative ideas. Because I don't... At this point, I don't really need too much of the other things. And I think it'd be more valuable if we could get this reduced inflation of 10. Honestly. Get we do reduce inflation by 10, and that'd be nice. And right now, Iraq loves us. Could that mean Iraq would be willing to... No, they feel threatened by us by a lot. I don't know what I did to them, but... Oh, the heretic religion. Shoot. Oh, and they would have accepted vassalization. Shoot. Would it be possible for me to rectify any of this? No, because they sabotaged my reputation. Hmm. Well, that kind of makes me mad. <laughs> like, honestly, very, very mad. The new Holy Roman Emperor is now Hesse. Why? Huh. So Hesse is now a Roman Emperor. Okay. Alright, what about you, Serbia? You guys feel less threatened by me? No, you guys hate me. You guys feel less threatened by me? No, you guys hate me. Why does everyone in the world hate me? I'm not even doing anything, but... The good thing about all this is that I finally think I found a new ally. It's going to be Hungary. Hungary is the first Christian nation to actually say, Hey, you know what? Maybe those maybe those Moroccanians are not that bad. Maybe they would actually be a good thing to have as an ally. So let's accept an alliance from you guys. And finally just have a different alliance so we can actually have different friends. So we don't want to just be fighting all of our wars by ourselves. Even though we could, I would love to have another alliance with us. Okay, my 30k is about to go over here and smack their butts, because these guys are annoying. Like, severely annoying. I didn't realize that they would start doing all this stupid stuff, but apparently they, apparently they do. So, we're going to have to deal with that. Oh my goodness. Just give me a second. There we go. Yeah. You just had to hold out for one more day and I would have come. Just one more day. Leading maneuver, locate efficiency, shipbuilding cost. I think I might wanna uh, I think I might wanna unlock this eventually. And maybe tech down through that, but I'm still I'm still kinda hesitant of that just because I still need to like, you know, catch up to the rest of European powers right now. Because the European powers are are getting vastly more powerful than I am, and that's scary. That's insanely scary. So Yeah, but but you know, eventually I do want to tech down some of my ideals so that we can, you know become more advanced, but, eh, just difficulties, I guess. Let's see. Austria, you don't seem that powerful in this game. Like, um, let's see, and you guys, 1579. You know, Burgundy, if you liked me, I would so support independence for you guys. <laughs> like, seriously. Alright, and it seems like the Holy Roman Emperor is just kind of blandish and destroyed and you have Crimea as a protector. Shoot. Well, that would not help me if I ever went to war. Does that mean they, they, they still get an alliance with Crimea? Yes, they do. Shoot. Does that mean you guys would not accept vassalization even if I offered it to you? No, you guys would now accept vassalization after you guys have been eaten up, but you guys won't accept vassalization because I've been a jerk to you. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to make friends in the end game. That's all I gotta say. Because, like, most of these guys are all angry at me for different things I did. Which is kind of ludicrous, if you ask me, because I'm not really that big. And what about you, Cylon? Would you guys like to be my little buddies? No. You guys not want to be my little buddies. Okay, lose... I could do that. Lose pi... I'm going to... Give me, like, a couple weeks. Give me, like, a couple weeks. Okay. 55. Yes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to gain. I did not want to gain a loan for that, but I didn't want to gain prestige for that. But sometimes it's just better to just gain the prestige than suffer the losses. Which then maybe that's telling me that it's about time for me to go to war with uh, my good friends over here. I still have to wait for this to figure out because once that protectorate ends, what I'm thinking is what this is what I'm thinking is going to happen, guys. Is that I'm going to declare war in Ethiopia. Declare war in Ethiopia, uh, the Mamluks are going to join in, and then hopefully they won't call in anyone else. So then I'll just be able to 
you know, destroy them, and then, because I could probably wreck them without any of the other allies, but with, like, the allies of Crimea, Hengez, and Oman, I would still win. It would just be a way longer war, and I just don't want to do that. So, you know, to make this war as simple as possible, I'm going to try to, you know, destroy all that, and let's get our next fleet up. So, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, they, they don't have, the Mamluks definitely don't have an army to defeat me. I mean, I have most of my army already lined up on the shore, ready to destroy them at any moment's notice. I'm just like, whoo, I wonder when we're going to attack. And let's get, I think I'll keep this army back here. Because I want to make sure that I have an army all the way around, so I make sure I'm protecting myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're just kind of, basically, we want to go to war with the Mamelukes, and basically to do that, we have to get a core in Ethiopia, and to do that, we have to wait for this colony to finish, which is actually going to be finished in a couple days here, which is going to be nice. We gained a core, speaking of which, I better core this, because I don't mind if it's, like, I don't mind if it's not my accepted culture, but... I do mind if it's like not cord, because not cord makes uh, life a lot difficult. Let's just say that. Life a lot more difficult. Okay, now since I've gained more money, I think I'm going to increase militaristic costs. There we go. And. Do, 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 do. I don't need to build any of this right now. Let's just keep watching my empire as it slowly thrives to its utmost proportions okay also I should probably start building more ships like I keep forgetting about that a lot let's just keep building more ships that's six I build a seven eight nine seven eight eight nine there we go that probably went over my limit by one but I don't care one ship is not going to destroy my empire I can already tell you that right now so no worries there no worries Native Uprising, well that's good to know that the natives are being very hostile to us even though we are technically of their kin. Well not technically because they are, we are a vastly different culture than they are, but still relatively speaking we are pretty similar. Mm -hmm. But still, yeah, they don't like us. <laughs> they don't like the idea of a centralized government and the idea that we are an all-powerful nation like this. Oh. Ooh, what? Oh, what? Oh, shoot. Okay, my phone apparently shut off right there. And the, the timer stopped, so I'm just going to have to wing it and guess about when uh, this video is going to cut off. So, for all intents and purposes, you guys might get a longer video. Be glad. Be glad. For my clock for shutting off. Charity of the poor. Or... Wow, you guys are really making me gain... This is like the second time I think I have to give in to charity. No, not this time. Ch Charity can go die in a hole somewhere. I don't care about Charity. <laughs> it sounds terrible, but in a game sentence, I do not care about Charity. Yay, and the colony finished. Okay. So now what that should allow me to do is start fabricating claims onto you. Yes. I don't even care. Just start fabricating claims. Okay. And apparently your ports are being blockaded. I was about to say... I have an entire death fleet dedicated to just destroying stuff around here. Assimilation of war? Yes. Okay. And while we're on the subject of where we want to uh, have our next colony, let me just get my uh, good, nice administrative tech. Like, like you see, like this is doubling in stature. That's why I could get, I could probably take down all of this. Yeah, possible advisors. Oh. Available mercenaries, 50% plus 50%, that could be nice right there. Yeah, I could probably text, ooh, that 20% proficiency too. Um, I could probably text down the rest of that and have like a nice, 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 nice thing. I'd still be about the same tech level I'm going about right now. But anyways, uh, we have a new colony that we can go do. We could probably get some of these inside lands now, now that we're not concentrating too much, but... Hmm, there's still a lot of outside land I would love to get. But there, there is this island I'd love to have right about here. Because then we could probably use this to have a good intermission between us and Ceylon. 
which wouldn't be bad because if we were trying to go launch our attack and go get lower Sid, I I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. Let's just let's just start with something simple and um hey we could probably no that's completely desert that's completely useless land. In fact, it's completely uninhabited too. Okay. Don't know what happened there, but let's just let's just go one island hopping at a time. Let's conquer this little island right here of two base tacks. And then from there go to over here. So we wanna make sure we do this in kind of a good sequence of orders. Grand Admiral with fifty tradition. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that guy is awesome! Oh, okay, 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 he, he, okay. He's, a, he's in charge of my fleet. Wow, that is a promising, that is a promising sea guy. I mean, wow, and my guy just died. Do I have an heir? Yes, I do. He's a 422, and right now we have a... A uh, 213. Not one of the best leaders I've ever had, but definitely not one of the worst. If you guys remember, I think I had a 0 0 at one point, which was. Maybe it was a different playthrough. I don't know, but I've had worse leaders in the past. And let's see, Ken or Bono. I don't really care what you guys do because I'm annexing you guys. So, yeah, just make sure that the annexation process is still going on and we'll be fine. I, mean, I don't really care. <laughs> I want to make sure that you guys are added to my empire because it kind of looks weird that I don't own all you guys. And let's see, how much more time do we need before this is all done? Just a little bit longer. Alright, you know what I think I'll do? Is I'll finish this, I think I'll conclude this episode with the start of the war to see if my plan goes to fruition. If it does not go to fruition, then that basically means that we have a gigantic war of the Crimeans, Henjez, Oman, Iraq against us. Basically everyone right here is going to fight us and over here is going to fight us which is going to spread my forces insanely thin so let's hope that doesn't happen. If it does not happen though it would be pretty nice. By the way let's go get let's go pick up these guys. I know I, w I, know I wasn't gonna pick them up earlier but I've actually decided let's go pick them up because I think it'd be much quicker if we could get these guys done with as soon as possible so Oh no, Bono. Plus, I also need some people over there. Actually, I already have an army. What am I doing? Well, let's go send, just go send just a small army over here to go protect this colony. So that we make sure it does not die from the natives. Because natives could be pretty hazardous. Even though there's only 500, they could be pretty hazardous. Alright, enough talking. Let's finally get to this. What? They are allied with Crimea? Oman, Henges, Quality Team. They are subject to the which will protect. What? How? You're a subject of the Mamelukes. They don't. You don't get their allies. You just get. What? No, that is BS. You cannot just get their allies. No, 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 no. If you're a subject nation, you should be able. You should be able to get your main person to protect you. That's it. No one else should be able to protect you unless it says so in the ledger. They are not, they are totally not allied with the Crimeans. They are not allied with the Ottomans. They are totally not allied with any of those people. That's BS. What? Let me see. I'm even going to check this. No. They are definitely not allied with who they say they are allied with. That is BS. That is complete BS. That is BS. I'm not even going to tell you how BS that is. Right there. That means I can't attack anyone in the Mediterranean. Okay. The person I could attack right now would have to be Oman. That's the only person I'd have to attack to do this chain reaction thing. Because if I were to attack the Mamelukes directly, I think I'd have a much bigger war on my hands. If I had to just attack, if I was to attack Oman, ooh, you know what I could do? This could be smart. Ally with Hedges, so get them on my side, okay? Then what I'm going to do is use that as a basis for fabricating a claim onto them. Oh, I, I think I finally get to speak it out, so I'm going to 
Yeah, we can get world marriage. I'm basically what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to fabricate a claim under Oman, declare war on Oman, and then have the the Mamluks join in, and Iraq. I guess I guess Iraq is going to get caught in the in the crossfire here, and then from there destroy the the Ottomans and the Omanians and probably a doll too, all in one video. So there we go. I think we finally figured out a good war strategy. I'm going to attach like two units here later, but I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.